Hey guys, um, I'm gonna take from where we left off in a little crab scenario. So we should have, goes around and can eat worms. Okay, so I'm gonna line up a bunch of worms. Uh, he's gonna be able to move based on my arrow keys. Okay, and I know you can't hear this right now, but to me, he's making a slurp sound when he eats those worms. His images are switching back and forth, and so we've left off with a crab that can eat worms, and that's about it. Now, the next piece of this is going to be to add a lobster that eats crabs. So in order to do this, we're going to have to go back here. We are going to select animal. We're going to right-click on it, and we are going to say new subclass. And we are going to type lobster with a capital L to start, of course. And then you are going to se select the lobster image. Okay, once you've done this, you're going to press OK. And this will create a lobster animal for us. So now we're going to have three different things we can add to our scenario. So let's talk a little bit about this lobster. So as it says on this slide, lobsters get hungry too. Let's add some computer controlled crabs or con computer controlled lobsters into our world to try and get the crabs before our crabs eat the worms. We will control these lobsters using random numbers. Okay, so we need to learn a little bit about random numbers. It says here in Greenfoot, select Greenfoot class documentation from the help menu. So we're gonna go here just like we did in the past for Greenfoot class documentation. And this is going to pull up the screen and we're going to click on Greenfoot class. Okay, and then we're going to get to see all the methods available to us. Uh, earlier on in the scenario we used things like is key down, uh, we used play sound, okay, and so this time we're going to actually use a method called get random number. Now it's important to note two things. Okay, it has a parameter, an int limit. So integers are whole numbers, okay, can be above, below zero, or they can be zero. But in this case, it's, uh, yeah, so above, above, below zero, whichever one, or zero. In this case, we're going to want to keep it above zero because it's going to return a random number between zero and the limit, so exclusive. So that means it's going to give us the number zero, okay, and then up to whatever our limit is. So if we give it a limit of 10, it's going to give us these random numbers. Okay, so I'll just show you guys here. Okay, I'm gonna just say limit of 10 means we will end up with the numbers. I'll draw these out for you. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We will not end up with 10. 10 will not actually be given to us as a random number. Important to know. So that's what it's going to return. We should also note that when we go back to this Greenfoot class documentation that it returns an integer value to us. So it's going to actually give us an integer back. Okay so let's go here and we've already done these things. Okay we've checked its return type is int. Okay we've checked that we have to give it an integer parameter. Okay, so when we do this, okay, so what we're going to do is we are, in order to make this random number thing work, okay, it says that we actually have to create a container to hold on to the random number in, and then we're going to set the random number to whatever is returned by greenfoot.getRandomNumber. Okay, so let's do this in the lobster class. Okay, we always declare, okay, for now we're going to declare our variables up here. So we will say private int um, random one. And that is going to hold on to, hold on to a random number between, what do we want to do? Zero and ten we'll do. So we will equal, okay, right away we can do this. We can go, actually, no, let's not do it here. Let's do that here. We're going to set it in our act method. We're going to say random one equals greenfoot dot get random number. Okay, and we're going to say 10. 
So, and I'll add a little message here. I'm going to actually replace this. And it's going to say create a random number between 0 and 10, not including 10. Okay, so that's what it's going to do for us first. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, well, where's this movement piece? Okay, that's coming very soon. Okay, we're going to talk about it in this side. I kind of discuss it at length. And we're going to make him try to turn a certain percentage of the time. I suggest that you go ahead and read this on your own. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I am going to go over what this kind of means with you and how this is all going to work. Okay, so what we are supposed to do is he, our lobster is going to move forward 75% of the time, okay, but the other 25% of the time we want him to turn a bit and move forward. Okay, so half of this time, so it says here half the time the lobster turns it's going to move left and the other half the time it's going to turn right. Okay, so let's start to actually think about that and how we're going to do it. So. The one thing is you're probably thinking, okay, well, we've got a random number. How do we figure out a percentage from that? Okay, so we're going to use if statements, okay? And we're going to show, I'm going to show you how you can do something like 75% of the time, okay? My example that I'm going to show you is going to be if we did this, random equals green foot number 10, or green foot ticket random number 10. Let's go back to our drawing board here. Okay, this is with a limit of 10. Okay, I'll just update this, see if I can, can I update this? I'm gonna undo this. Maybe I'll be able to, can I click in here again? No, I gotta retype this. Mm, no, that's not gonna work either. Let's just undo that completely. Okay, so limit of 10. This code right here would produce one of these numbers, zero through nine. Okay, so, in order to come up with percentages of this, okay, I need us to think in fractions. So let's, for example, I know we're supposed to figure out 75% of the time, but as an example, let's figure out, let's do 40% of the time. Okay, so 40% of the time, how do we figure that out? Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and figure out what amount of these numbers is 40% of the 10. Okay, so when we think about it realistically, okay, what we're going to do is we've got how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 different numbers. Okay, so what we have to do is figure out how many numbers is only going to give us basically 40% of the numbers, okay? So what fraction would give us 40%, okay? In this case, if we think about it, what fraction is equal to 40%? Well, let's write out 40%, okay? What fraction, if we're dealing with something out of 10, what fraction would be equal to 40%? I'm hoping you're thinking four, okay? That is equal to 40%, okay? So four out of 10 is equal to 40%. So what we're gonna do in order to figure out a percentage of the time is we are going to say, um, if the number that greenfoot.getrandom number produces is less than four, because the only numbers less than four are these ones. This number, this number, this number, and this number. That is one, two, three, four numbers. That is four out of 10, which gives us 40% of the numbers. So let's just show that in code, okay? What we could do is, okay, uh, we would say if, greenfoot dot get random number. 
I'll try and figure this out after. One or 10 is less than four, okay? That particular line of code right there, okay, I'm gonna see if I can move this. I don't know if I can, okay? This particular line of code right here, this is going to give us 40% of the time. So 40%. Woo. Okay. So that's going to give us 40% of the time. So 75% of the time. Okay. Let's figure that out. 75% of the time we want our lobster to move. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if green foot, oops, green foot dot get random number 100 and we're going to say less than 75% of the time. Okay, because if we got 100 random numbers, okay, there is, and we said less than 75, 75% 75 of them would be below 75, the number 75. They would end up being, I'm just going to put in the comments, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 all the way up to 73, 74. And then that's the last one that would be less than 75, which equals 75 different possibilities out of 100. Okay? So that's how we figure that out. Okay, so this next piece here is going to make be making it move only that percentage of the time. Okay, the other 25, we're going to just simply say else. And this will deal with the other 25% of the time. Okay, so right now we're about to make the lobster only move 75% of the time. The other 25% of the time, make the lobster turn. Okay, you'll have to make it to the next video in order to see that.